Hi, this is Samah Nabil. I am an ophthalmologist in Sadat City University and founder of Coroida. I'm going to talk to you about today about smartphone fundoscopy, that term that everybody search about it. Usually, we examine the retina using direct ophthalmoscope or indirect ophthalmoscope. Each device of them has different rules and cons. Ophthalmologists tend to use indirect ophthalmoscope to see wide field of view to quick the whole retina as quick as possible and as clear as possible. But when uh, they are outside the clinic or in some facility that doesn't have equipped eye clinic, they tend to use direct ophthalmoscope, which views very narrow field of view and the only benefit of it is that it is portable. While the indirect ophthalmoscope is not portable and not easy to use, they tend to use the direct ophthalmoscope. So the indirect ophthalmoscope is a little bit difficult to use, difficult to align the headset with the lens part and the patient eye. So in the indirect ophthalmoscope, you need to put the headset, use a 20 diopter lens or 28 diopter lens to view the patient retina. So you have to make an alignment between the headset, the light uh, emerging from it, and the 20 diopter lens and the patient's eye. That's why the using of indirect ophthalmoscope is a little bit difficult, uh, especially for senior residents who are still trying to figure out how to view the retina. But they try to train on it for months or even more to examine the retina. On the other side, there is a direct ophthalmoscope who only view narrow field of view, maybe the optic disc only or part of the optic disc. And it requires the patient to be at the nearest point from the doctor. That's why many ophthalmologists, nearly all of them, are not willing to use the direct ophthalmoscope to examine patient's retina, especially after the outbreak of COVID-19. After all of this, we need a device that can show 60 degree field of view as an indirect ophthalmoscope and portable as a direct ophthalmoscope with the ability to examine the retina from a distance that prevents the spread of the infection. Okay, here is the smartphone fundoscope. Smartphone fundoscopy uh, allows the doctor to view the retina using the 20 diopter lens and his smartphone so he can view the same field of view as the indirect ophthalmoscope and he can use the portability option that is there in the direct ophthalmoscope and benefit from the distance between the patient and the ophthalmologist. Okay, there are other benefits in the smartphone fundoscopy that is not there in the indirect or the direct ophthalmoscope. Usually in the smartphone fundoscopy, it is a portable device like this one that holds the lens and the light system with the phone but this system does not allow only to view the retina it allows you allows all of ophthalmologists to record the whole examination of the eye it allows also many of ophthalmologists to perform the retina examination while they are seeing the same image on the phone screen it allows ophthalmologists to view the examination live in a conference or meeting that's why smartphone fundoscopy is more better than indirect and direct ophthalmoscope. However, it is not the best ever device to examine the retina. The image produced from this device or any other smartphone fundoscope is a 2D image. However, the image in the indirect ophthalmoscope is a stereoscopic image that we can view by both of our eyes. A device such as indirect ophthalmoscope is better in viewing papilledema. Grading of papilledema needs a stereoscopic image, which does not offered by smartphone fundoscope. But smartphone fundoscope can definitely tell that there is a babyledema. Some of some ophthalmologists may not able to grade it, but they will diagnose there is a babyledema. The smartphone fundoscope is the best device for screening patients, for making the first impression on the retina, seeing the retina for the first time to exclude the healthy retinas from a diseased retinas. But it is not the final device that you rely on to start the treatment plan. Your plan must be based on different examinations. Maybe the patient will need OCT imaging, but still, smartphone fundoscopy is the best ever to screen patients who have the first impression on the retina, to exclude healthy patients from diseased patients, and to do the quick retina examinations or checkups outside the clinic, in any place that is not equipped with eye clinic. Smartphone fundoscope is also the best device for junior residents who are trying to view the retina quickly and pass the hassle of trying to view the retina and see how it looks. The smartphone fundoscope usually supports the lens, the camera lens in the phone. So this alignment is 100% done. You just need to align the device with the patient's eye, which is pretty easy. Also, the smartphone fundoscope is the only device that allows more than one doctor to view the retina at the same time, which is extremely very helpful for junior residents. 
Smartphone from the scope is portable, which is a huge advantage of this device. Smartphone from the scope can record the video of the whole examination, which is another level of examination that we couldn't have with a direct or indirect sonoscope. So to summarize this technique, smartphone fundoscopy, it allows doctors to make the eye examination outside the clinic. It provides the portability. It provides the imaging possibility. All written examination can be recorded on a video and it provides 16 degree field of view like the indirect of sonoscope. Okay, thanks for watching this video and I will be happy to receive any questions about smartphone fundoscopes and answer them directly on my email. It will be shown on the screen. Again, thank you. See you next video.